Hi, today I wanted to talk to you a little bit about what we call functional restoration. One of the things I do want to recommend to you if you're interested in this type of topic, this is a book called Functional Electrical Stimulation that was put out about 1981-1983. And you'll see the, the authors listed here and one you know, through here, but these people actually worked at Rancho Los Amigos in Downey, uh, California. And I call it the Bible of functional electrical stimulation. It is out of print now, but I've, I have checked and you can still find it on Amazon.com and other type places. But I highly recommend you reading this book if you're interested in the topic, functional restoration. Let me tell you a little bit about what we mean by functional restoration. There's a type of stimulation in which you have situations where a patient is in pain, a patient is trying to improve their overall health, or you may have a very fine-tuned professional athlete that is trying to gain an advantage because of conditioning. And so they would go to a functional restoration program. Basically, what we're trying to do is, no matter what anyone really tells you, when you're trying to make yourself healthier or recover from an injury or prevent pain due to a chronic type disease such as RSD, reflex sympathetic dystrophy, fibromyalgia, neuropathies, and so on and so forth, one of the things that goes on in this type of situation is our body, we have motor nerves, we have sensory fibers, we have what are called pain fibers. All of these fibers basically have very specific parameters that they respond to electrically. When, If you have a chance to get the Functional Electrical STEM book, you'll find out more about that and what the parameters are we work with. But in all situations, you need to have the patient actually working and trying to make movements themselves in order for this to work. Now, a natural way our body moves is we have bundles of fibers. And these fibers are different types of fibers. And they have different diameters. But it's sort of similar to way back in the late 1800s when we had wires running all over the place, like in New York City, and it became a hazard. They said, let's put them together and run them down a cable and keep all these wires within one confine. That's sort of the way our body works. We have a cable with all sorts of wires in it that have different diameters. Now the di diameter is what affects whether that motor nerve or whatever will fire or not. When we introduce externally electricity, we stimulate or drive electrons and cause a chemical electrical reaction. But we always have to have the patient trying to do that. What I'm going to go through in this series of functional restoration tapes is help people gain that competitive advantage, help people learn how to avoid surgery, how not to use drugs, how to overcome pain, and I'm also going to show you how, if you are injured, how that you can more quickly get back to where you were and be relatively pain-free and healed. Now, one guiding concept that needs to be understood is if I'm moving my arm like this, actually I'm I'll start off firing small diameter fibers. And that's for my some of my fine movement. My finger is going up and down now. You notice my wrist is turning. Okay, that is a process of not firing the large fibers, but firing the small fibers. And that's because I have function. Now, if I'm injured, I want to restore function. Function and restoration is related to getting better or to getting to be the best if you're an athlete. But electrically, when we introduce electricity into that bundle, one thing that happens is your larger fibers fire first. A smaller diameter fiber will fire last. So a normal function is what I'm doing now. An electrical function would be more like this. We're moving big muscles. We're moving smaller muscles. 
large fibers, small fibers. The electricity has to fire the bigger diameter first, and then you recruit the smaller fibers later. But that is part of the guts of when we talk about the Infrex FRM machine, when we talk about the functional restoration program, we're literally talking about you are the clinician working with the patient, and when it comes time to get better, we will then introduce electricity, and our electrical charge will achieve the maximum function. Now remember, on the athletic side, the purpose of movement is we're trying to gain torque. Muscles move for force. That's a little bit of force. Pow! That's a lot of force. Well, not me, it's not a lot of force, but for some people it is. <laughs> but that's what we're trying to do. But that's what these, the, the videos that you will see following this, we're just trying to introduce the concepts so that you, either the clinician or the patient, have a better understanding of what we're trying to do when we do functional restoration. And that's what it's all about. Thanks for watching this, and I hope as we go through this, you'll gain a better understanding of how to help yourself or to help patients. Thanks for watching.